What's up, YouTube? This is uh, Sports Live in ATL. David here. What's up, Falcons in Atlanta City family? Uh, God damn, I'm trying to get this, to get this straight. <laughs> All right. People were sending me some texts and stuff, and you know, on ESPN, let me know about uh, uh, the free agent market coming up today. And then I'm driving here on 929 The Game Radio, uh, listening to the stuff, and then hearing about it, and hearing about the issues with the Braves. Uh, and the issues with the Falcons, you know, the few issues that we do have for both teams. Because both teams are really good. Both teams are highly capable of doing something. But we're still not spending money. I mean, going into the season, the Braves had, and correct me if I'm wrong, anybody, $80 million to spend. So far, what we've done as far as acquisitions is Brian McCann and Josh Donaldson. Yet there's a lot of good people out there, Craig Kimber, who could help us on, on you know, on uh, on uh, the closing rule, and there's some guys out there who could help us offensively. Why have we not gone for him? Even though Anthropostal, whatever the heck, I can't even pronounce his name, so moronic, he said we were going to spend money. On what? What are we doing? You got Fulton Evich is not going to be uh, ready for, for opening day. Uh, Kevin Galsman's not going to be ready for opening day, yet we still haven't gone for a proven starter yet, and we've had, we have money to spend. We still have Adam Duvall on our roster. Uh, still haven't gotten Craig Kimbrell or some kind of proven closer out there. I don't have any idea. We're going to go bullpen by committee. So the Braves right now have a lot of money to spend and stressed it, yet are not willing to build upon a division title while the other teams are getting better. Great job, y'all. Great freaking job. The Falcons, $24 million roughly to spend, I believe. And... A lot of players out there right now, you know, not massive superstar players, but players nonetheless who could help us. Because you don't always need a superstar player to help you over the top. We have star players. We just need that one little extra piece on defense and probably one on the offensive line, and we're good to go. Right? Yet we... Are looking into bringing back Vic Beasley for 12, 15 million, which makes no damn sense. We still have Duke Riley on the roster, which makes no damn sense. Frustrating, man. It's frustrating as a loyal Atlanta fan when I know my teams have already put themselves in position to make deep playoff runs, yet don't want to do anything to put you over the top, and therefore wait another year and another year and another year and another year. And before these teams finally maybe win a world championship, all this right here will be gray or gone. I mean, seriously, y'all, this, this is aggravating. Every day, popping into the ESPN watch, the apps, go online, the news, the radio, and all these other teams in baseball and in football are signing players. I mean, my hockey team, Calgary, finally broke a, a four-game losing streak back on top of the division. This is one of the best Flames teams that I've seen ever. And we're, we're clearly capable of winning a Stanley Cup championship, although we got the Tampa Bay Lightning to deal with, and teams within our conference are still pretty tough to beat. We didn't really go get anybody during the, the NHL free agent period. So what what is it? Explain to me, because we have... A little bit of issues on, on uh, the, the, the goaltending, although Smith and the other guy have gotten clearly better as the season has gone on. We were looking at this one guy from the LA Kings, I forgot his name, who was, who, who was a very good player. Who, I mean, like I said, the Calgary does not need a lot of help. Just maybe smidge or maybe of, of smidge. We can still win with what we have now, but we had a chance to improve it even more. Because when you're going to play teams like the Tampa Bay Lightning, if you manage to make it to the Stanley Cup Finals, and a lot of the teams in the Western Conference who are very tough and physical, any addition that you can make that won't hurt your bank, you need to do. So there's something about my teams where they don't want to go out there and get the big player to help you help them over the top. And I've mentioned this before. And and, and you know, and free agency uh, day is here in the NFL. Um, and it sucks because I don't expect my team to do anything. I expect to constantly see teams pick up players to help themselves out. We won't, and we're still going to complain about what we need, a guard and or defensive pass rush, when there's clearly some defensive players out there very affordable right now, but yet we're not going for them. Other teams are picking them up. 
it makes me sick, man. As, as a loyal sports fan of my teams, it makes me angry. You know, and then these athletes have enough nerve to, you know, to, like, the Golden State, um, what's his name, uh, Splash Brother, whatever, complains about the Golden State fans, you know, oh, we need your energy and we need y'all to help us move over the top, really, against Phoenix. Uh, yet, if we pay our hard-earned money to go see y'all play, and then we see y'all on the street, we want your autograph, nine out of ten times, you look at us like we're stupid. Like y'all are above everybody else. Yet you want our support. Yet you don't want to, the organizations don't want to go out there and help this city get over the hump. Atlanta United finally did. But what about the other teams that we have that are very capable? Braves and Falcons. Very capable of contending right now. Yet we got the money to spend, yet we're making stupid decisions. So Falcon fans, Braves fans, any sports fans of my channel, comment below. Give me your opinion. It's aggravating, man. It's frustrating. Tell me if your team is doing it. I don't know because a lot of people that I talk to, most teams have already won championships. A very few have not, and I feel bad for them. But, you know, when I know my teams are so close to getting that uh, Super Bowl and, and or World Series and we got money available and we're not using it right, it makes me sick. You know, we, that's, that's why we go through all these what ifs and what we need year in and year out. Because when we have the opportunity, we don't spend. It's our owners being stupid. It's already clear that the, we, and the, and the Falcons of our front office have already screwed this up years ago with these boneheaded uh, 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 payoffs. And it's just going to get worse. You know, and the Braves preaching all offseason... Even going into last season, the new GM, Anthony Lopato, whatever, can't even pronounce his name, said we're going to spend money, and yet we have money to spend a lot of it, a lot of it, and we're doing absolutely nothing. Makes me sick. So you're basically accepting the fact that you don't have a bullpen and a good starting pitch. You know, right now you need a little bit of help there and maybe tweak it a little bit. And the Falcons, that you need at least one defensive pass rush and somebody on O-line, yet you're not willing to to spend the money. Well, that's why we haven't won championships here because we're not willing to spend with the resources that we have. Whatever. All right, y'all. I'm out.